In black is the problem's basic explanation, along with strategies I employ to get the problem right quickly the first time. It is required that you copy this down. Any other colors are optional. This is a pretty tricky problem. They give you x is greater than 3, but it turns out that the only really reason you need that is to make sure that no one worries about uh, the denominator equaling 0 for any reason. At the heart of this, what you really need to do is take the reciprocal of this denominator, and in order to do that, you have to combine the fractions. This plus is really what's preventing you from taking the reciprocal of anything. So what you have to do is you add these rational expressions. It's really much very equivalent to adding 1 half plus 1 third. You can multiply this by 3, and therefore this by 3. You can multiply this by 2, this by 2, to get your common denominator of 6. This would be 3 times 1 and 2 times 1. So in the end, you get 5 over 6. It's the same basic structure when you're trying to combine these rational expressions, too. They're just fractions. So you can multiply this by the what you would need to get a common denominator. It's x plus 3. And this, x plus 3. This, x plus 2. And this, x plus 2. Again, when you multiply these two together, you get x plus 3 plus 1x plus 2. When you add the terms in the numerator, you get 2x plus 5. And when you multiply the factors in the denominator, when you FOIL them, you get x squared plus 2x plus 5x plus 6. Notice that is one of the trap answers, but what you have to remember to do is plug it back into the original. The full expression is going to be 1 over your answer, 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. And in order to simplify that, you have to take the reciprocal of what you're dividing by. The reciprocal of this 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 is going to be times the reciprocal, x squared plus 5x plus 6 over 2x plus 5, which gives you the right answer. Two equations that the College Board really like to use a lot, they're both uh, the same equation just worked around, is the equations used for figuring out how much uh, time it takes for a particular person to join up with someone else and to get a, a combined job done. So for example, if it takes you five hours to rake the leaves and it takes someone else six hours to rake the leaves, how much time will it take for you both to, to rake the leaves? It's going to be shorter than five or six hours. You could use the same, this is the same equation here. If you rake the leaves in five hours and someone else rakes the leaves in six hours, five and six, you can plug those in to get five times six over five plus six. And that answer will actually give you uh, how long it'll take you to both rake the leaves at the same time getting working at the same job. Algebraically, that's exactly what we have here. If you take the reciprocal of this equation, the entire equation, you get t is equal to 1 over 1 over 1 over plus t1 t2, which is exactly the structure that we have here. So realizing that this t is going to be the same thing as this, you could also use this equation. Whatever this is, whatever this simplifies to, it's also equal to t1 times t2 all over t1 plus t2. That's exactly what we have here. t1, t2. When you multiply them, you get the numerator, and when you add them, you get the denominator.